In this video, we'll cover the Antenna Line Azimuth Scope Kit, used to obtain quick and easy azimuth solutions on a wide range of tower antennas. Combining the well established performance and function of the Antenna Line Alignment Tool with a simple and accurate ground based AZM scope attachment, Sunsight Instruments makes it possible to gather critical antenna azimuth information from the ground. The Azimuth Scope Kit consists of an azimuth scope, scope bracket, AAT mount plate, and a protective carrying case, along with a sturdy tripod used to mount the AAT and azimuth scope. Let's look at setting up the azimuth scope kit so it can be used to obtain the azimuth for an antenna from the ground. To begin, extend the legs of the tripod. If the ground is not level, you can adjust the leg extensions so that the tripod mounting surface is semi-level. Screw the AAT mount plate onto the tripod. Slide the AAT into the tripod mount and tighten the clamping lever. If necessary, ratchet the clamping lever to ensure a snug fit, so the AAT does not move. Install the AZM scope bracket over the left side of the AAT as shown, making sure that it does not make contact with the keypad assembly and that the GPS antennas will not be obscured during use. Go ahead and secure the AZM scope mounting bracket to the AAT with the supplied security strap. Ensure that the bracket's rubber bumpers are flush against the top and sides of the AAT housing and that the AAT remains balanced on the tripod. Secure the AZM scope to the mounting bracket using the included thumb screw. Tighten securely, but do not over tighten. Remove the protective dust caps from both ends of the AZM scope. Using the lowest magnification, locate the antenna being measured in the viewfinder. Adjust the position of the AAT scope tripod assembly as necessary. For brevity, in the remainder of this video, this assembly will simply be referred to as the scope assembly. That completes the setup process for using the azimuth scope kit. Now let's take a look at how you can perform a capture of the azimuth from the front or face of the antenna. Capturing the azimuth from the front or face of the antenna is the recommended method when using the azimuth scope kit. After determining which antenna is to be measured, pace off or measure a minimum of 150 feet from the tower base along the bore site, or radiation center line. If the radiation center of the antenna is higher than 150 feet, then the rule of thumb is to set up the scope assembly one foot out for every one foot up. So, if the antenna is 250 feet high, set up the scope assembly 250 feet in front of the antenna. Visually align the tripod to the antenna and secure the tripod in position. With the antenna located, adjust the magnification by rotating the eyepiece, clockwise increases magnification, until the lower front edge of the antenna is easily viewed. The adjustment knob on the right side of the azimuth scope is used to set the focus. Readjust the position of the scope assembly as necessary. Adjust the scope assembly position so that the sides of the antenna are no longer visible. In other words, the antenna is viewed head-on and is vertically centered in the viewfinder. Align the reticle in the viewfinder with the bottom edge of the antenna. Power on the AAT and wait for the GPS and AZM signal acquisition. From the AAT main menu, choose Select Orientation and then select AAT Faces Front. Using the Measure Only mode, ensure that the AAT is within plus or minus one degree of level in both tilt and roll. Verify the antenna position through the viewfinder, ensuring that the antenna is vertically centered or head-on and the reticle is aligned with the lower edge of the antenna. Note the AZM value displayed on the AAT. This is the azimuth of the antenna being measured. That completes the azimuth acquisition process using the scope kit from the front or face of the antenna. Now let's take a look at how you can perform the capture of azimuth from the back edge of the antenna. Keep in mind that the back edge of the antenna must be readily visible in order to determine the azimuth from the back side. After determining which antenna is to be measured, pace off or measure approximately 150 feet from the tower base, in line with the back plane of the antenna, perpendicular to the radiation center line. 
either side of the antenna is acceptable. Remember, if the radiation center of the antenna is higher than 150 feet, then the rule of thumb is to set up the scope assembly one foot out for every one foot up. So, if the antenna is 250 feet high, set up the scope assembly 250 feet from the antenna. Visually align the tripod to the back plane of the antenna and secure the tripod in position. With the antenna located, adjust the magnification by rotating the eyepiece, clockwise increases magnification, such that the side and lower edge of the antenna are easily viewed. The adjustment knob on the right side of the scope housing sets the focus. Adjust the position of the scope assembly as necessary. Adjust the scope assembly position such that the lower edge and antenna backplane are aligned in the viewfinder reticle. Be sure to set the scope assembly so that the backplane of the antenna disappears. In other words, the AZM scope is viewing the plane directly across the rear of the antenna. Power on the AAT and wait for GPS and AZM signal acquisition. From the AAT main menu, choose Select Orientation and then select AAT faces right if measuring from the right side of the antenna or AAT faces left if measuring from the left side of the antenna. Using the measure only mode, ensure that the AAT is within plus or minus one degree of level in both tilt and roll. Verify the antenna position through the viewfinder, ensuring that the antenna backplane is aligned with the viewfinder reticle. Note the AZM value displayed on the AAT. This is the azimuth of the antenna being measured. That completes the azimuth acquisition process using the scope kit to measure using the back edge of the antenna. For optimal results, always keep the scope assembly as level as possible. You can do this by utilizing the measure only option from the AAT main menu. The spotting scope included with this kit is designed to be rugged and reliable. However, it utilizes glass optics. Avoid dropping or jarring the unit. Keep the protective dust caps on when not in use. The azimuth solution acquired utilizing this procedure is only as accurate as the preparation. The closer the scope assembly is to the base of the tower, the more likely the readings will begin to lose accuracy. Take the time to ensure you are properly aligned with the antenna being measured before recording data. For best results, always try to move the same distance as the height of the antenna away from the tower base. In other words, if the antenna is 300 feet high, then move 300 feet away from the tower base to measure the azimuth. Spare rubber bumpers are provided with every AAT. Use only the bumpers provided by Sunsight Instruments. Replacements are available upon request. Remember, the recommended method for capturing the azimuth is from the front or face of the antenna when using the azimuth scope kit. This concludes the video on using the azimuth scope kit. For additional information on using the AAT, view the training videos available on the Sunsight website at sunsight.com.